DHSEquipmentPod.com. And now what we've got to do is, is separate the bearing from the crankshaft itself. Take a look in here, there's not a lot of room between that bearing. There's no way to get a standard puller on there. So what we're going to use is a split bearing puller like this. Okay? If you take a look at this puller, and you can get these anywhere, Harbor Freight, uh, Sears, Northern Tool, etc. If you take a look, it's got a, a little angle right up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put this on both sides of the bearing on the crankshaft and we're going to start to tighten these and as they tighten they're going to wedge themselves between the bearing and the crankshaft and it's going to squeeze this and it's going to start to press the bearing out. We'll go ahead and put it in the vise just to make it easier. Okay, just slowly tighten it down evenly. Sometimes you can aid this by taking your hammer. If you see it's already starting to, uh, to pop out, you could aid this by pressing, by hammering down a little bit. And as it squeezes, it's going to throw it out some. And this bearing is, is just about off already. Uh, this bearing is just about off already because of the, uh, the bearing puller. So for the most part, we could just grasp that crankshaft in our hand. Again, put that, put that nut flush with the crankshaft to protect the threads, and we could just take it all the way through.